Second project I'd like to mention is we, we wanted to provide together two master plans for two municipalities in the north of Montenegro, in our man, mountains, in, uh, in, the, in the areas which are very close or are in the middle of our national parks. So in the last two and a half years, with the cleaning team, with Montenegro's ministries team and our people from the municipalities, because their involvement was very, very important for collecting data and collecting the ideas, we have uh, developed two mass, uh, sustainable tourism development master plans for the municipality of Kolashin and uh, uh, Zabljak. Very comprehensive, very sophisticated document with uh, very concrete uh, suggestions and projects and measures what has to be done and first things we are already doing in implementation of this very uh, important uh, project. What we are trying to do is to create green cities in Montenegro. We believe that there could be very good examples also for some other regions, especially for some other areas, especially in our <coughs> region. I would like to mention only one, which could be now something very visible and something we could together promote, not only in the region, not only in Italy, but worldwide. Uh, last year, as an example of public-private partnership, we signed a memorandum of understanding for a 6 million square meter project in Montenegro, Italian Ministry, Montenegrin Ministry, and our partner, Oraskom, from uh, actually a Swiss Egyptian based company, very strong, very powerful. And we are building a completely new tourist town, which is supposed to be, hopefully, well, it cannot be eco in a very narrow sense of the world, but it will be a very low, a very energy saving, very low CO2 emission. Uh, town with eight hotels, uh, 700 villas, 1500 apartments, downtown, marina, golf course, and so on and so on. The footprint will be only 6.6% and with strong support of Italian Ministry for Environment, Land and Sea, we believe that we will be in position to develop and of course with the financial strength of the partner, which is evident, we can, be, we can, promote, we can build and, and create something which can put Montenegro on the world map uh, in terms of creating projects like this, because it's easy to talk and to speak about theories and laws, etc. Implementation is very critical, and I believe that this one, that this project, will definitely be uh, one of the most, most, most attractive projects throughout the whole world. Finally, let me mention that we have four national parks. <coughs> that, that, that it was quite difficult to establish the fourth one because it is very difficult today, these days, to explain to the local, especially the local population, why, what are the benefits, why the benefits will come only in the mid and long term, but why establishing national parks <coughs> is so critical now. But we are lucky now to have established those uh, four national parks in Montenegro in the meantime. I would like just to share few more thoughts with you, but uh, it will not take long. Uh, about environment and CO2 emissions, etc., it is during the difficult economic times, especially like now when the environment crisis is a little bit uh, in the background, that uh, the commitment to sustainability must wait. And that sustainability is too costly, that now is not the time to invest in CO2 emission mitigation or other environmental actions, that such investment is a luxury, etc., etc. In fact, I believe that quite the opposite is true. The reality is that building a green economy is at the heart of flourishing as a viable economy, of being a viable competitor as a nation, and I might add, being a viable tourism destination. As a nation, Montenegro is committed to continuing to emerge as a fundamentally westward-looking nation, working hard to serve as a small yet relevant model of stability, ethnic harmony and balanced economic policies in the region. We recognize that the sentinel sign of our ability to be a model will be our ability to build truly sustainable growth through the development of an outward-looking, increasingly services-based economy in which tourism, and especially ecotourism, will be a central pillar. And we are absolutely committed to doing this in order to make the lives of our citizens and of those of other nations better, protect our and the world's vital resources. 
maintain positive relationships with others and, most importantly, leave a legacy we can be proud of. This is our challenge and challenge we must and we definitely will meet. And finally, something what Adlai Stevenson said 50 years ago, but it is very, very nice, he said that we travel together, passengers on a little spaceship, dependent on its vulnerable reserves of air and soil, all committed for our safety to its security and peace, preserved from annihilation only by the care, the work and the love we give to our fragile craft. Thank you very much.